reflecting on the past but celebrating the future. On November 9, 2014, our country has lost some of the greatest individuals that have impacted not just our country, but the world. And today we remember them, but we celebrate the future. We celebrate the fact that many individuals as a result have rise up to the occasion to walk into their purpose and be all that God has called them to be. My name is VMAC and I'm your host and this is Remembering the Recalled Nine. Welcome back to Remembering the Recall 9. I'm your host, V Mac. And like I said earlier, on November 9th, we have experienced one of the greatest tragedies to ever hit our country. But today we are celebrating, and the gospel community of the country has come together, united as one. One body, one voice, all coming together to pay tribute to those guys that went down, who have definitely played a major role in the gospel music industry, but at, at the church at large. And here with me is a great friend of mine. He's one of the producers for the song. As a matter of fact, he's the writer of the song, Mr. Jonathan, Johnny Farrington. Welcome to the show, bro. Thank you so much for having me. All right, all right. Now, of course, you know, we came together, the gospel community at large, we came together to do this amazing song. Uh, tell us a little about it. The song entitled We Are One, uh, where do I begin? Uh, as I was sharing earlier when we did the interview with Minister K, I always knew that I was going to write a song that featured, I would say, the majority of all the Bahamian gospel artists in the country. Uh, didn't know when and how it would happen, but I always knew that was always a vision of mine. Uh, and sad to say, that plane crash was actually the thing that kind of caused the birthing pains for the song to be birthed. Uh, it was two days after the crash. Uh, very emotional time for me because I was, as the entire nation was, and I would even say the entire world, was feeling the weight of what had happened. And it was so heavy. And usually, you know, whenever I go through times like that, I automatically slip right into worship. That's the only thing that, you know, can soothe me and as I began to worship God, the melody of that song just came to me, the lyrics, and I saw different people's faces, and I saw some gospel artists' faces, and I, I, I realized what was happening. God was now initiating the process of me writing that collaboration song. And um, two days after that, uh, I called you up, and I was like, Vimak, I have the song. Uh, I think we need to release it. Let's see how many gospel artists we can get to be on the song. And that's where everything began. And from then to now, I am still in awe of how we were able to get everything together and execute this song. Right, right. And of course, of course, this song was birthed as a result of what the world was experiencing, not just the country, but the world was experiencing. And of course, uh, you have you have had, just like myself, you have had an opportunity to uh, maybe shake the hand of uh, some individuals that was on that plane or even work with them at, at great extent. Um, why is this song so important to you as an individual? This song is extremely important to me because the lyrics alone, it says we are one. I feel that whenever you hurt, whenever I hurt, we all hurt together. And um, I think that that tragedy caused the entire nation to hurt as one people because we did not just lose another pastor, another youth leader. We lost our brothers. We lost our sisters. We lost uh, a forefather. Um, and I feel that as a, as a nation and as a community, we all have to come together. This song is talking about unity. Despite your creed, your class, your color, your financial status, it doesn't matter. We are all one. And I believe that that's the message that, that I want to transcend um, throughout the world, that we are all one. And I'm hoping that that message can be accomplished. All right, now throughout this TV special, we're gonna see some of the artists. They're gonna share a bit of their uh, experience working on the song, uh, being inside the studio, of course. Uh, you know, we had a great production team that put yeah, it together. Yeah, uh, uh, Now I want you to go down the list. You may know somebody out, so all the artists that are watching, don't get offended, but give us a little brief overview because I know we had people from all walks of life, generations yeah. upon generations, people before you and I, uh, in terms of gospel music. Give us some of the list of names of some of the artists that participated in this collaboration. Let me see, okay, I'll start. You were one of the artists. <laughs> <laughs> Carrington McKenzie, Therese, Dixon, uh, Dixon Nixon, Nixon, Nixon. <laughs> All right. um, Nicole Watson, Adrian Edgecombe, Sammy Starr, Tamika Taylor, Kenyatta Taylor, mm -hmm. Mas Christian Massive, Spirited, you had Nehemiah Hill, Rache, Marisha Walker, Pastor Denzel Rowe, right. you have Alma Knowles, uh, Stax, Najee Dunn, 
uh, Keith Jones. You had Joanne Callender and Stacey Marshall, right. lyrically blessed. Right. Uh, everybody that you can basically think of, we wanted to be part of the song. And then this song was not about, oh, let's just choose this artist, this artist. It, we wanted to extend it to everybody. And I recognize that we couldn't get everybody to be right. part of it. That's just the reality about it. Right. But I think that because a group of people came and we represented the entire gospel community. I feel that everybody was a part of it. And um, I'm hoping that when we actually release the video, everybody would come to be a part of it to actually see it all together. I right. think it's an amazing, right. iconic, epic thing. Right. And then, of course, uh, of course, the video is going to air right after the special. But, of course, um, it, it was amazing to know that. How, how did it feel, you being a gospel artist and seeing all these artists come to get to you? And I know for me personally, we have hired, I mean, people that wasn't even a part of the initial recording, they came out to be a part of the videotaping. Of course, your back was a part of the recording as well. And yeah. to, to see all of the major uh, the major heads and people that, that probably don't even have a platform right. as big as yourself or I or even Nehemiah Hill, legendary. Um, what is, what, how did that make you feel to know that, you know, this brought everyone together and not just the lyrics of the song, but at the end of the day, you know, people came together to live out the song. Yeah. Being one. We, we lived it out. And I think that um, we actually did something that is groundbreaking. Br groundbreaking. As gospel artists now, we are strengthening. We are coming together now even stronger. Right. I feel um, that this is so important. I was speaking to uh, Krishna right. Roel from FarmFest. Uh, you know, she's one of the coordinators. And she was talking to me. She said, one of the, the visions and the dreams of Mark Hart, right, is he always wanted artists to come together before FarmFest just to pray. And he said, that's, she said that that's always been a vision of his. And I feel like with us coming together to see everybody coming in the studio, there were times where people cried when we were recording. People prayed together. Some people went out and we bought lunch for one another. We just had a time in the studio. And I feel like this is setting the stage for us to come together, to be even more unified, that even when we minister at concerts, we won't be like, well, who is that? I don't know who that is. We would know each other and we would be our brother's keeper. And that would allow the spirit of God to flow more so in these events because we would be one body on one accord united right all right all right again ready to wrap up uh you went we went uh we as a body of course as producers as songwriters as arrangers we went beyond just the song and you we went into coming together collectively to start a movement uh the we are one movement just as we wrap up tell us a little bit about that and then we're going to move right on the We Are One movement is something that we have sparked um, through this whole process. What we want to do is continue this 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 movement. Uh, and what we're thinking about um, as gospel artists right now, we want to do some charity initiatives, do some hospital ministries. We want to go out into the community because it's not just about singing on stage. It's more to it than that. And we feel that ministry is so much more. So we want to extend ourselves um, even more so into the community and hospital ministry. And also using this as a platform to network for up and coming gospel artists who are still teenagers and babies for us to really set that platform to begin to do mentorship. And I think that it's gonna be such a great thing. I wanna shout out right here, Cambrell and Pastor Trent for being a part of the project. Pastor Trent as one of the artistic directors and Cambrell as the producer of the entire project. I feel like what happens um, when great things, sorry, great things happen when people from all walks of life come together. I can't do it on my own. You can't do it on your own. But when we come together as a body, that's where we begin to see power and we begin to see great things happen in the earth. Definitely, definitely. Well, Johnny, we, you know, thank you so much for coming about. And of course, big shout out to all the producers, Canberra Poitier, big shout out to uh, Pastor Trent Davis, and of course, DJ Frost for coming it, making it, putting it all together um, with the final mix and all that great stuff. I just have um, one more thing I want to say. What was so interesting, too, is that we were actually recording in Manifest Studio. Th yeah, there you go. You and go. that was so, it was so amazing because there's a, bo I think it's the M box or something that right. had his name Manifest Parks. And every time somebody went in the boot, I saw his name on that. And I was like, if he could only be in here to see this happen today, it, right. it, it was emotional. And um, right. I think it was a great honorarium for the, for all of them. And and speaking of speaking of Manifest, um, you had an opportunity to work with him. You sang background for him. You worked with some of his artists, doing him his sound. Share that experience with him. And even if you had an opportunity to work with Dr. Miles, share those experiences as we wrap up. Manifest, to me, was like a sharpener. Manifest would never let you get away with anything. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if he knew you the first time or two years, whatever. He, When I first met him, he was a strong personality, but he was a sharpener. He really helped me to 
be the artist that I am today. Um, and his training and just ministering with him, it has taught me so much. He was definitely a man after God's own heart. Pastor Miles, I had the opportunity to minister in BFM many times and just a man of worship loved worship and i'll never forget that service where i sang and after he, i sang he came on continued singing in worship for like about another 30 minutes and at the end of that service people started giving things to him people started giving their watches giving their monies giving their cell phones and what he did was the gifts that people brought he began to distribute it to other people that was the first time that i've ever seen anything like that um and it just spoke to me about his character and who he was as a man he was a great man all right, there you have it. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much. Later on the side of the show, we're definitely going to be releasing the official We Are One video, so you don't want to move. It's more of remembering the Recall 9 when we get back right here on Cable 12. Don't you move. 242 Untapped presents an untapped Christmas celebration. Come on out and hear some of your favorite Christmas songs sung by the cast of Season 3 and your favorite finalists from Seasons 1 and 2. It all goes down on Friday, December 5th at 7 p.m. at Potential Church Bahamas. JFK Drive. Admission is only $7. Includes free hot chocolate. While supplies last. This celebration will feature Jonathan Farrington, Sammy Starr, Anna Khalid, with special appearances by Davian Chase, Malika Pinda, Andre Mutt, Dominic Rowe, and more. That's an untapped Christmas celebration. December 5th, be there. All Pro Season 8 of 242 Untapped Season 3, Charity Initiative. Emerge Youth Church and the Christian Youth Leadership Network presents a national youth meeting and celebration of Pastors Lavard Manifest and Riddell Parks. We have live performances by Denima Sound, Lyrically Blessed, Gospel Boys, Ryan Jupp, Christian Massive, Vima, Najidun, Landlord, and a Fuel Worship Band. The venue is Bahamas Faith Ministries International, Carmichael Road. And it's all going down Friday, December 12th at 7 p.m. There'll be a special charge from Nathan Wells, Dino Cartwright, Felicia Archer, and a Nathan DJ Counselor role. Admission is free. It's a new season with new hopeful and even new judges. It's season three of 242 Untapped. If you think you have what it takes to be the next Bahamian gospel superstar, sign up today for your chance to win a $10,000 recording contract filled with a high-quality music video, cash prizes, and more. For more information and to sign up, log on to www.242untapped.com. Deadline for entry is December 31st. Some terms and conditions apply. Welcome back to Remembering the Recall 9. I'm your host, V Mac, and right now I'm sitting with one of the greatest gospel artists in the world, the icon. I remember watching him growing up on TV and all over the place. None other than the man himself, Corey DJ Counselor Roll. I yeah. supposed to call you Basta? No, no. No? You can't call you Basta. Okay. All right. So we can sit right now to DJ Counselor, and of course, DJ Counselor, uh, of course, you would have known those guys that were on the tragic plane crash um, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, you have served in BFM for so many years as being a, one of the youth uh, leaders and one of the youth pastors there tell us a little bit about uh when you got that news when i got that news i was home in my studio um just working on a project and someone from freeport called me and asked me if i heard i said heard what that pastor miles plane went down i said no man you're talking foolishness i pick up the phone and i tried to call manifest and i tried to call his wife and just keep going to voicemail so i started blaming btc and afterwards i i, I called a few um police officer i called the uh, defense forces trying to figure out what was going on and it's all the posts on Facebook keep coming up. There's a plane crash and so forth. And within an hour, everything was confirmed. And I was like, wow, wow. And so it was just really confusing who all was on the plane. And at the same time, just praying that just was a miscommunication going on. Right, right. And of course, uh, like I said earlier, you have definitely been a part of the ministry for so long. You have, you have had an opportunity to uh, travel with those guys, you had an opportunity to work with those guys. Uh, if you were to, to describe uh, Dr. Miles, Dr. Richard, Pastor Rude, and Manifest, and Riddell, uh, how would you describe them? They were, they were, they were, they were individuals just, just so low for the work of God. Um, I started going to BFM from I was in grade nine. Um, came on staff and worked full time in youth ministry for about little over what's it but ten years. Mm -hmm. And so um they ba I basically grew up there, you know, and so um they kinda helped me to who I am today and what I'm doing. And so um, you know, s experiencing that was, was 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 just was just was just unexplainable actually and then had us talk the manifest the day before and so we always had a relationship, even with my transition, you know, in fact he manifest knew I was leaving before Pastor Dave knew. That's the kind of relationship we right, had. Right. And so it was just it was just it was it was difficult, man. It still is difficult. And you know, um it's just it's just it's just mind blowing like why this could happen, how this could happen. Hmm. And 
And so I'm um, just watching how the world is dealing with it, um, keeping the families in prayer. And, you know, the whole thing that was the worst out of the entire situation was the manifest situation where his whole family end up, you know, um, you know, you know. And so it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just horrible, man. And so, so far I'm starting to heal. Um, but, you know, that group of individuals definitely have, have made a difference in the Bahamas and in the world with Pastor Miles being one of the most, well, the most prominent black um, pastor at this time, you right. know, in the capacity of just pastoring and then also um, religious leadership seminars and, right. and advising, influence, governments, and advising right. governments and so forth. You don't have a black pastor on that level who's been doing that. So he was right. very unique to the Bahamas. And most Bahamians have no idea of, 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 of his reach. Right. And so this funeral alone then is going gonna, gonna to be a glimpse of, of his reach. I've seen pastors, you know, um, just give out shouts, international pastors. I think we have a uh, few prime ministers and presidents going to be coming over. Definitely. And so definitely we have lost our father who have, who, have, who, have, who, have, who, have, who have contributed so much to this country. One of the o one of the only sober minds that made sense on national issues. Definitely. You know, so definitely um, there's a lot I've learned from them. Um, definitely with manifest he was at my wedding. That was only about three three months ago. Right. And I remember sitting down there looking across the table, him and his wife there. And that meant something to me. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, I went to their wedding. We actually watched each other grow up from high school straight up to where we are today and so definitely it, it just, and he it recorded just your first song right yep he recorded my first song um hail him up and so you know it's just you know i just thank god that i'm able to to move on at this point right and uh you, just like many other people around the world and around the country uh you uh, you're coming together being one of the, uh, the leaders in youth ministry in the country uh traveling with the country you're definitely uh putting some initiatives together in, in form of a national youth meeting with the capacity that manifest had being in in music ministry for over 15 years uh tell us a little bit about what you and your organization are prepared to do well manifest was the president of an organization called the christian youth leadership network um, I've also been a part of that group for many years, and I'm also now serving as the Bahamas Baptist Union Youth Department president. So, um, you know, we made some phone calls, we, we had some meetings, and so we've come up with a national youth meeting that's going to be held at Bahamas Faith Ministries on the 12th of December, Friday the 12th, and various youth groups are going to be down there. We have speakers, those are going to be given a charge, like myself. We have Pastor Nathan Wells, Reverend um, Dino Cartwright, Felicia Archer. And we have several artists like yourself, um, V Mac, um, Jordan Farrington, the Gospel Boys, Najee, Dunn, Christian Massive, and the list goes on and on. And so definitely the letters have already started going out. We've been touching bases with different organizations for it just to come apart. So we all could just come together in memory of what of what of what we should represent, you know, unity. Mm -hmm. And so we're also gonna be um playing a clip from Pastor Park's uh, message Youth Sunday that he had shared and so forth and so you know, watching Fest, you know, because he we, we 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 had some conversations where he was deciding now to move into being more of a speaker than an artist. Right. It was a transition. He was like, you know, he's ready to make. And he asked me because both of us are now becoming a little more older in age. But you know, I stopped aging from twenty five, <laughs> <but> moving on. <laughs> ah. And so, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and and watching him his growth and you know his presentations and getting ready to travel and he just he, his whole mindset of just switching and just seeing where God was taking him, and this happening was just like what yeah. you know and so at the end of the day you know um just just to continue to trust in god um god god is faithful man and so we we're now seeing a lot of youth groups coming together youth groups that are good if not of mix or come you know for this one initiative and something that we want to continue to happen at least three four times a year we have a national youth meeting we have um, also darren turnquest from the ministry director of ministry of youth who's also going to be up in the house and so we're looking for a fun-filled night to encourage our youth to go to go forward and my message tonight is also going to be you know, um, go on beyond the confession. You know, a lot of times we just confess. Right. We don't go beyond the confession. Right. Great, great, great. And, you know, there are many people that are struggling. There are many gospel artists who have known uh, these individuals personally. For me, I've had an opportunity to travel with uh, all those individuals. And so, you know, it, it's, it's amazing to see what God, but, but you know, uh, what advice would you give to those people that are struggling, that are going through, that may have known them? You know, one of the messages that we see flying around right now is that the greatest tragedy in life is not death, but a life without a purpose. And, of course, you've been growing up uh, at BFM. You've been leading in BFM and one of Dr. Miles. Uh, he always spoke about purpose, all, always spoke about leadership, always. If he didn't know you, he would still say, look here, you know, what you're doing, you know, what you're doing with your life. Um, that's something That's something that I can say Dr. Miles always said. He didn't have to know you. He was going to ask us, what you doing with your life? That's one of the first things that Dr. Miles, he, uh, he shake your hand, he'll ask you what you're doing. 
And so uh, what, what, what life lessons do, would you impart to these viewers that are watching to fulfill their purpose and be a better individual that what you have learned? What I'm saying is everybody on that plane was always productive and always found, always found themselves always busy. Um, so saying always going out, you know, if you if you sleep in a bit more than you work and you're always going to be broke. And so the thing is, you know, watching their work ethics of everyone on the plane from Captain Thurston straight down to the Parks family and Dr. Miles, you know, they were always into their purpose. Always, and, and that fact, they died head into their purpose again. Um, one thing I could always say to everybody is, is this, man, I've learned this. Um, death is inevitable. This, you know, that's an appointment that you're not going to miss. The other day I woke up with a brain tumor and I'm here today because of God's healing, but that's not going to exempt me from dying one day. And so you just have to accept the fact that, you know, one day you're going to die. Is that going to be accident? Is that going to be sickness? Or, no, or some mysterious case, but either which way you look at it, death is coming, but to always be ready. And, you know, everyone on that plane represent what Christ always talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know, he rules on to the end. And so I just want to encourage folks out there that, you know, whatever, how, you know, a lot of people are saying this and saying things along those lines, you know what I'm saying? Um, it came a time that they were called home. You know, it's hard to accept. You know, we, we, we're not always the best folks to try to explain death and life within itself. And that's the way God designed it. Right. In fact, none of us have the complete answer to why God does certain things. And a man who says he does, be very careful of him. <laughs> because God has made us ignorant to this point to always rely on him. And Definitely. so it's going to encourage folks, man, to don't get... You know, don't, 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 don't get distorted by what people are saying about that, about how they died and this and that. Death is death. And, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the disciples all died. You know, it's, they were mortared. You know what I'm saying? And so we've had hundreds and thousands of men over the years who have lost their life, you know, by various ways, whether it's um, going, to, um, uh, going to ministry on a boat, drowning, going missing in the jungle and so forth. And so we lost some men and women that represent the kingdom of God, and they died represent the kingdom of God. And one encouragement to leave to everybody else out there, when you die, what are we going to say about you? You know, we're doing a show about the nine. Now, these nine represented the kingdom of God. What do you represent? That's my question to you. That's what's important. And that's what you're going to have to answer God on. Well, I couldn't say it any better. DJ Counselor, thank you so much for coming through. Uh, give us those dates and times of the National Youth Meeting, and then we're going to wrap up our air. The National Youth Meeting is going to be Friday, December 12th at Bahamas Faith Ministries International. All youth and youth groups are invited. Parents come out also. This is a time that we're coming together unified. We have a lot of ills in our country. Um, the church, we have the gospel. But for some reason, the connection is not there between building and community. At this National Youth Meeting, we want to come together. We want to plan some things. We want to plan some outreaches. We want to encourage our youth to go beyond just a confession, just from being ch church cultural youth and that's what manifest is all about it's about manifesting the word of god and you know we, we, we were always in the plans in fact we started to organize some things within the SEMs and the schools and so this is something we want to continue to birth and continue to make a difference in the community so we're going to see you out friday december 12th at bahamas faith ministries oh so god bless there you have it. Consider any better. Of course, thank you so much once again, DJ Counselor. The body of Christ coming together, gospel artists coming together, the world coming together to celebrate life, to reflect on the past, but definitely celebrate the future. And like DJ Counselor said, what is it that you're going to be remembered for when you die? Because at the end of the day, the reality is you are going to die. Stay tuned. It's Remembering the Recall 9. When we get back, it's going to be the official premiere of the music video, We Are One. I'm your host, VMAC. Don't you move. We're back right after this. 2421 Tap presents an untapped Christmas celebration. Come on out and hear some of your favorite Christmas songs sung by the cast of season three and your favorite finalists from seasons one and two. It all goes down on Friday, December 5th at 7 p.m. at Potential Church Bahamas. JFK Drive. Admission is only $7. Includes free hot chocolate. While supplies last. This celebration will feature Jonathan Farrington, Sammy Starr, Anna Khalid, with special appearances by Davian Chase, Malika Pinda, Andre Mutt, Dominic Rowe, and more. That's an untapped Christmas celebration. December 5th, be there. All pro season 8 of 2421 Tap, season 3, charity initiative. Emerge Youth Church and the Christian Youth Leadership Network presents a national youth meeting and celebration of Pastors LaVard Manifest and Riddell Parks. We have live performances by Denima Sound, Lyrically Blessed, Gospel Boys, Ryan Jupp, Christian Massive, Vima, Najidun, Landlord, and a Fuel Worship Band. The venue is Bahamas Faith Ministries International, Carmichael Road. And it's all going down Friday, December 12th at 7 p.m. There'll be a special charge from Nathan Wells, Dino Cartwright, Felicia Archer, and a length of DJ Council Road. Admission is free. 
It's a new season with new hopeful and even new judges. It's season three of 2421 Tap. If you think you have what it takes to be the next Bahamian gospel superstar, sign up today for your chance to win a $10,000 recording contract filled with a high-quality music video, cash prizes, and more. For more information and to sign up, log on to www.2421tap.com. Deadline for entry is December 31st. Some terms and conditions apply. Honey, while you're in there, can you do the dishes? If you want your shirt, you better iron it yourself. Oh, and do the rest while you're at it. The trash needs taken out too, honey. Don't you wish you could speed up your life with Revon Broadband Internet? Get the fastest internet in the Bahamas at the lowest price in the nation with speeds up to 70 megabits per second. Revon, join the revolution. Welcome back to the show, everybody. We want to thank you so much for tuning in to Remembering the Recall 9. Uh, we want to thank our guests for coming through. And we do hope that your lives have been blessed, challenged, and definitely ministered to. We hope that your life has been inspired as a result of this tragedy. On November 9th, we have lost some of the greatest leaders in our country, not just in our country, but in our world. And we all are coming together. Gospel artists, youth groups, churches, uniting as one body, together in love. And remember, united we stand, divided we will fall. Remembering the past, but celebrating the future as we move forward in the plan that God has for us and fulfilling our purpose. So on behalf of your truly, Jonathan Farrington, the entire production team, it gives us great privilege to introduce to you the official video we are one. Until next time, have a great one. Reflecting on the past, but celebrating the future. Yeah. Standing in love and unity. But together, we are one. Standing together Though the trials in life have brought us down We will rise again Lifting our brother And holding all of our sisters' hands As we move ahead the same but if you cut us we will bleed so we stand here in love and unity we are one we are one, we are one. Oh. some may pass away as seasons change but we are family we are one Together we will sing We are one Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. We are one Oh yes we are We are one Pressing onward Yeah As generation one One through, we remember. 
hesitation Time to be bold, time for us to make a statement Time to intercede on behalf of our nation Time to plead the blood on our whole generation Wipe those tears, we are not forsaken Pick up the cross, fam, we gon' make it I see you crying and I know you're hurting But here's my shoulder, I'll take your burdens uh, Okay, it's time to start playing Okay, it's time to start praying God forgot us, he don't care, he ain't real Man, y'all hear what y'all saying? Just the thought of the cross has scarred me Put your hand on the chest, feel your heartbeat That's enough right there to give God glory Cause even when I didn't see him, he saw me me. We are one, so much to love, so many hearts away, the seasons change, but we are family. Thou givest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are.